One question I get asked all the time is how can I record the screen on my Android device? In this video, I'm gonna show you two ways that you can do it. The first is using your Mac or your PC, and the second is using your Android device. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video. We release a ton of content to help you get better results with videos faster. If you're new here, then make sure you click that big subscribe button and all the links to everything that we're gonna cover in this video, you can find linked in the description below. Okay, so jumping straight into recording your Android device screen, the first way that we're gonna show you is with some software that works on both Mac and PC. And the second way we're gonna show you is just using your device. So no need for a PC or Mac for the second method. So starting off with the first method, the piece of software that you're gonna need is called Reflector 2, and it sells for $14.99. There is also a free trial version available as well. So download Reflector 2 and install it on either your Mac or PC. Next up, you need to make sure that both your computer and your Android device are on the same Wi-Fi network, and you will need the Google Home app installed on your device. So to get started, open up the Google Home app, click up on Settings, and choose Cast Screen Audio and then select your computer. Now you'll see your phone screen has been shared over to your computer. Now before you hit that record button to start recording your screen, it's a good idea to jump into the settings and to check your video recording settings. So click on settings, go down to preferences, and then go across to recording. And in here you've got the option to choose your recording resolution. So you've got the options of 4K, 1080p, 720p, and 480p. Now, if you want the highest quality, then choose 4K, but I'd suggest not going less than 1080p. And as a lot of devices at the moment still aren't 4K, you'll probably find that 1080p will be the best choice here. Under recording quality, you can pick very high, high, medium, low, or very low, and I'd recommend that you leave this at very high. And you can also choose your recording frames per second or the frame rate of the video you're gonna be recording. In most cases, you wanna leave this to 30, but if you're gonna be recording gaming videos, then you may wanna try 60 and see if that gives you a better result. So we'll leave that here at 30. Then it's just a matter of pressing record and recording your video. Once you're done, press the stop recording button and then choose where you wanna save the file. Okay, so that's how you can record your Android device screen using your Mac or your PC and using the software Reflector 2. Now we're gonna jump into how you can record your phone screen or your device screen using just the device itself. Now for this, you'll need an app called Du Recorder or DU Recorder and it's free in the Android Play Store. So essentially how this app works is when you open the app, you get a little record button that sits off to the side on your screen on top of any app that you've got open. When you tap on that icon, a little menu appears and you've got the choice of starting your recording, open up settings, enable or disable your phone's camera and to take a screenshot. So before you press the record button to start recording your screen, press the settings button, which is the little four squares, come across to settings, and in here you can choose your video resolution. So once again, I recommend not going less than 1080p for your screen recording, but if you do have higher options and you wanna have a higher quality video, then you can select a higher resolution. So I'll select 1080p. And just below that, you can also adjust your video quality, which is the video bitrate. Now, if you really want the best quality recording you can get from your device, then pick the highest megabits per second that's available for your device. So you can see here that we've got 12 that we could pick, and then the entire video is locked down and capturing at 12 megabits per second. But that'll also make a huge video file. But in the case of most screen recordings, I'd recommend that you leave this at auto because it would automatically adjust depending on what you're actually doing with your phone while you're recording. So we'll leave that on auto. And once again, we've also got control over our frames per second. So what I recommend here is that you don't leave this on auto and that you lock down your frame rate to 30 frames per second for most standard screen recording, or if you're gonna be recording gaming, then pick 60 if you're after a smoother video. Now there's a heap of other settings in here that aren't critical, but they're definitely worth looking at, or at least knowing that you've got these options available to you. Like you can turn on or off audio recording, you can show the touch marks on your screen, so that later when you're watching back, you can see where you've pressed on your screen. And you can also select where you actually want the video saved. So a heap of options in there, we're just covering the critical ones to get you the best results. So we'll go back out of this now, and we'll tap on the recorder icon on the side, and we will select camera just to show you what that looks like. So you can actually record your phone screen and have your camera recording at the same time. You can also reposition and move around and scale up and down the video as well. So you've got quite a bit of power in here to create some really awesome screen captures. When you're ready to record, select back on the camera icon and press record. 
It'll do a quick countdown from three seconds and then your screen is recording. Now, while you're recording, that little icon disappears. So it's not gonna be in your actual recording. So to stop the recording, you just need to swipe down into your notifications area and hit stop. Now there's one other feature in here that's definitely worth a mention. Once you've finished your screen recording, click back on that camera icon and open up settings. Now, if you come across to the tools page, you'll see in here that you can edit your video, you can merge videos together, you can transfer your recording to another device or computer on the same Wi-Fi network, you can stitch your images, blur your images, and crop your images all from within this one app. So that's pretty cool. So there's two ways that you can record your Android device screen. If you found this video helpful, make sure you click that big subscribe button if you haven't already, give the video a thumbs up, and linked on screen now is a video to help you create professional videos using your Android device. I'll see you soon.